Welcome one, welcome on back to some more WWE 2K17, my career mode, and we are back on SmackDown Live after SummerSlam beating down John Cena, like I said I was going to do. And now we're on the bigger and better things, got Clash of the Champions coming up this, uh, well not, not this week, but yeah, this this end of the month, this uh, month we got that pay-per-view coming up, Clash of the Champions, baby, yes, bringing back the old, uh, old, uh, pay-per-view just like they did in real life, you know, except I'm doing it different. You, you'll see why. Uh, I, I'm bringing it back, but first, oh, look at this. Lance is going up against John Cena. Look, look, John Cena's been relegated down. Like I said, he should be in the back of the line where Lance is as well, and now they're facing off against each other. And John Cena beats Lance. Man, I've been cool if uh, Lance could have beat him, but hey, you know, Lance is a loser just as much as John Cena is. No matter if he beats Lance, I mean, it doesn't prove anything, you know. He's still a loser. John Cena's still a loser. All right, we got some other matches. And look, a triple threat between Charlotte, Tamina, and Becky Lynch. And Charlotte wins that. Naomi. Oh, okay. Naomi beats Natalia. Kevin Owens versus Ty Dillinger. Kevin Owens defeats Ty Dillinger versus Money in the Bank. Man, he's been losing a lot for being, uh, you know, Money in the Bank. But here we go. We got a promo coming up. Devin Colbert is going to speak his mind to WWE Universe. What will he say? Find out next on SmackDown Live. Here we go. Here he comes, yes, the champ, the man, the best, the face of WWE now. Let's see. I got something to say. Let's have some fun. I've got something to say. There we go. Yeah. I've been, I've never been one to hold back when it comes to what I want or what I think, nor am I the type of person to sit in the back and wait for my turn. I've got a lot of that. I need to get off my chest and I don't give a dang what who I offend or who I upset, be it the superstar in the back, you fans in the audience, anybody watching around the world, anybody running this company, I don't care. I've got something to say and I will be heard. Man, I have trouble reading these, I don't know why. I will destroy the WWE, no. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? The longer I stay here, the more I realize I'm never going to get my shot. What? I was skipped. What? I, I, whatever. You know, that didn't make any sense. Uh, the champ. I am the champ. What are you talking about? Hey, you know, it's not. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have done like the Roman Reigns. Like, this is my year. Anyways, we got Clash of Champions coming up. And all the superstars in the back, you know, need to know that I am the best. And all the champs, all the champions back there need to know that I am the best champion on this brand and in the WWE. So, Class of Champions will be a dual branded pay-per-view between both Raw and SmackDown Live. And all the champions will go up one-on-one -on -one against each other. That's what's gonna happen in Class of- Oh my god, I, I gotta keep it in the start. But that's what's gonna happen in Class of Champions. We got the champs going up against each other. And you know what that means. Give me my ma- Oh, actually. Uh, give me- Give me what I want, Triple H and Stephanie Man. Give me. Actually, it actually be. Scratch that. Shane McMahon and Darren Bryan. Give me who I want. Give me Brock Lesnar at Class of Champions. Brock Lesnar needs to learn that I am the premier champion. I am the best champion. I am the main champ because he's got a universal championship. What is that? That's a fake champion. That's a paper title. He doesn't got the real gold around his waist like I do because I beat Brock Lesnar for that championship and I still have it around my waist because no one else has been able to beat it. Beat me and take that from me. That's how good I am. Here we go. Uh, our past. Oh, yeah. So, Brock Lesnar, hear me loud and clear. Because our past will cross. And we will fight at Clash of the Champions. And I will prove that I am be not only a better man, a better wrestler, and a better athlete than you. But I am also a better champion than you. And I am why. I will prove why I am the face of WWE. And starting this week, or next week, starting next week, I will face all the champs on SmackDown Live to prove that I am the best champion until I have to face off against you, Brock Lesnar. So that's that's what's going gonna to happen. Right. Starting next week, yep. I'm going up against whatever champion wants to face me. I'm going up against probably the United States champion first. Kevin Owens better watch out because I'm coming for him. I'm going to prove why I am the best champion. That's what we got. The class of the champions. Every, everyone's going to defend or not it won't be not everyone's going to defend the championship but they're going to defend go up against you know the other champ from the uh, different brand, right? And so what's going to happen is I will face off against the champs of the our brand first every week until uh, you know class of champs happens. So I will go up against Kevin Owens next week, and then you'll have probably uh, 
either today I think it I think the new days is champs so it either, either will be Xavier Woods Kofi Kingston or Biggie uh, and whoever wants to face me they, they can take their shot but the end result's gonna be the same I will beat them down just like it's gonna happen Brock Lesnar are a class champion so let's get to next week where I'm gonna face off against Kevin Owens all right ladies and gentlemen here we go week one of my dominance begins when I face off against the United States champion Kevin Owens and I show him why I am the better champion than him because you know Kevin Owens you know, runs his mouth all the time about how he is you know the face of America and all this crap and yes we're both heels yeah we both you know uh, don't have a problem with each other as of right now you know we haven't been in a rivalry in like a long time I don't think maybe never in this game but uh uh, actually, I don't think, yeah, I think in last year's game, I remember, but we never actually faced off in a rivalry before, so this is going to be, we have faced off, you know, a few times, and uh, we, we've been back and forth, but tonight, I'm going to prove to him why I am better than him, why I've always been better than him, and I will prove that on the road to Brock Lesnar at Class of Champions. I can't let anybody, I can't seem weak, even though I've beaten Brock Lesnar before, i got to prove to him why I am the stronger wrestler, the stronger man, the stronger athlete, and the stronger champion. And I can't lose to anybody. Can't lose to Kevin Owens. Can't lose to Kofi Kingston or Xavier Woods or even Big E. You never know. Well, we never know who what, who those three are gonna throw at me, right? And since there's tag team champs, you know I have to face off against both two of them. Not not at once, not at once, but two different weeks. You know, because there's two champs. So, uh, yeah. So whoever they want to throw at me, you know what? I'll take on. I you know I take on three of them if I could. But hey, I I can't can't do that. Mm -mm. That's right, here comes Kevin Owens, the U.S. champ. Alright. Alright, Kevin Owens. My goodness. And actually, in real life, you know, he's not champ anymore. As you know, uh, uh, AJ Styles actually won the uh, United States Championship at, like, a live event in Madison Square Garden. You know, so now AJ Styles is the champ. And I wonder how long he's going to hold on for, on to the uh, U.S. title for. I wonder when he's going to drop it, but, hey. Got to focus on the match at hand right now. Got to focus on defeating Kevin Owens. That's right. Take that. Kick to the face, Kevin. You know, just stop his lights out. Stop his lights out. Yeah, that's right. Give him that corner. Just start beating down. Beat him down. That's right. Take the jaw. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Kevin Owens coming back with trying to clothesline or something. But, hey, it's not enough. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Spin out power bomb. Oh, come on. A one count. You got to be kidding me, ref. That was more. More than a freaking one count. Yeah. Look at that. Kevin Owens puny kicks don't do anything to me that's right I, I am the dominant athlete I'm the brand of Smackdown I'm the face of WWE because I beat down on John Cena at SummerSlam it was a squash match a glorified squash match like I told each and every one of you what's gonna happen I told you I was gonna destroy John Cena and that's exactly what I did and you know what John Cena wants another go he's gonna have to wait a long time he's gonna have to prove himself he's gonna have to work his way back up to the top before he ever gets another shot at the title again Oh, that's right. You know what? Maybe uh, if I keep keep on this tear, beating people, you know, for the championship, maybe I'll have to go for a second title. Maybe I'll have to go for the U.S. title. Maybe you know, have, you know, I have to think about that. Maybe I can be a dual champ. Oh, Kevin Owens hurt that. And now he's coming back strong. Okay, he doesn't want me to be a U.S. champ. He probably doesn't want me to go for his title because he knows if I if I go for his title, it's over for him. He ain't the champ anymore. And that actually is funny that when he did feud with Kevin Owens, I mean, uh, AJ Styles in this game, AJ Styles actually did beat him for the U.S. title, and then he dropped it back to Kevin Owens, and like, uh, whatever pay-per-view, and then he just kept it that far, because he didn't, he didn't defend it at SummerSlam, which kind of sucked. I think that and the, uh, another women's title wasn't defended at SummerSlam. They had some pointless matches on that card, but it won't happen. That won't happen at the Class of the Champions because every single title, every champion will go up against the other champion of the other brand. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Kevin Owens trying to make a comeback here. Get throwing me in the corner. Oh, that's right. Kick that boot to the fights. Oh, come on. I missed that overhand punch. But I'm not going to miss this kick to the gut. And another beautiful drop kick. Dropping Kevin Owens straight to his back. Get up, Kevin. Get up. Get up. Oh, come on, yes, yes, here it comes. The DC Stopper, baby! And that's it for Kevin Owens. That's it. That's it. One, two, three. Kevin Owens is the first victim. That's right. The first champion 
has fallen to the WWE Champion. That's right. All right, Kevin Owens has scratched off the list now. Now I focus my attention on the tag champs for next week. Who's going to be? It's going to be Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, Big E. They better watch out because I am a force to be reckoned with. I have proven that no one has been able to beat me for the championship. Ever since I took it from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, no one has been able to touch me. No one has taken a championship from me, and they never will. They never will. So stay tuned for next episode when I will face off against Big E, Kofi Kingston, or Xavier Woods. Two of the three I will face off against them next episode. So stay tuned for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, remember to subscribe for more content just like this as well. And remember to hit that bell icon. That way you'll always be notified for when my videos come out. And I think when you hit the bell icon, you're going to have to check a box that allows you to see all notifications. Because uh, that way, because even if you hit the bell, it might not work completely. So you got to check that box and make sure you always see the notifications. And yeah, and uh, thanks for all the support. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode when I beat down the new day.